Not a day goes by that I don't think about you. When I wake up, you are one of the first things to occupy my mind. Before I go to bed, you are often in my thoughts. Yet, after almost half a decade of being graced by your presence, my sense of wonder and admiration for you has not waned one bit. In fact, it has only grown. Whether complexity and rare occurrence among white blood cells, you truly are the 1%. It has sure given me some headaches and made so many of my hours vanish. They are also what keeps me coming back to you. Like the very first time we met, where in the warmth of an incubator, you became a shapeshifter. Going from a rather dull, regular round shape, equally spread out throughout the well, to then aggressively clustering around anti-CD3C28Bs. Individual regulatory T cells, once round and idle, were now an elongated, banana-like shape, crawling around and ready for action. You know, when I changed your DNA using CRISPR-Cas9, I knew I was changing the way you see the world. I just wasn't expecting you to change the way I saw mine. I want us to change the world together. I want you to help me change the future of type 1 diabetes. Many attempts have been made to develop drugs to treat this autoimmune disorder, but successes have been rare, and that's why I need you. It's unclear when, where, or if this goal will be attained, but if it can indeed be done, then I believe it will be with your help. Thank you for all you do and all you represent. Humankind's ability to fend off invaders while avoiding our bodies waging war on themselves would not be possible without you. You hold the key to so many more possibilities to bettering the lives of people in this world. You have given me the opportunity to learn about you. And for that, I am so grateful. I am so excited for the many more years to come.